Hello everyone, this is Professor Hitesh Matre, HOD Computer Engineering Department of Pravin Patil College of Diploma Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to learn about unit number 2 and the topic is basic concepts in C. In this we will be learning character sets, tokens, keywords and identifiers. So what is a character set? A character set is a fundamental raw material of any language and they are used to represent information. Like natural languages, computer language will also have a well defined character set which is useful to build the programs. These characters can be combined to form variables. C uses constants, variables, operators, keywords and expressions as a building block to form a basic C program. In this we can have alphabets in uppercase that is A to Z and in lowercase A to Z. Then digits starting from 0 up to 9 and the special character. So these are the symbols that we can have as a character set in a C. Next is a token. A token is the smallest unit in a C program. It is it is in each and every word and punctuation that you come across in your C program. The compiler breaks the program into a smallest possible units that are nothing but a tokens and proceeds to the various stage of compilation. A token is divided into six different types, keywords, operators, strings, constants, special characters and identifiers. Next is keywords. A keywords are predefined or reserve words in C language and each of which is associated with the specific features. So these have some special meanings, keywords. These words help us to use the functionality of the C language. They have some special meaning to the compiler. There are total of 32 keywords in C. So these are the keywords that is auto, break, case, care, continue, do, default, const, double, else, enum, extern, for, if, go to, float, int, long, register, return, signed, static, size of, short, struct, switch, type def, union, void, while, volatile and unsigned. So when we will start with the programming actually in C you will come across these various types of keywords. That is the identifier. C identifier represents the name in a C program. For example, variable, function, array, structure, union, label, etc. So any name for this is called as an identifier. An identifier can be composed of a letter such as uppercase, lowercase characters, underscore, digit, but the starting should be either an alphabet or underscore. So whenever you are forming an identifier, it should be alphanumeric and only the special symbol allowed that is the underscore but it should always start with an alphabet or an underscore. An identifier is a collection of an alphanumeric characters that begins either with alphabetical character or an underscore which are used to represent various programming elements such as variables, function, arrays, structures, union and label. So there are 52 alphabetical characters, 26 uppercase and 26 lowercase underscore character so that makes it 53 and the 10 numerical digits that is 0 to 9 that represents the identifier so that makes it total 63 alphanumerical characters that represents the identifier so you can have any combination of these characters now there are certain rules while constructing this C identifiers first the character of the identifier should either be an alphabet or an underscore and then it can be followed by any character or digit or underscore. It should not begin with any numerical digit. In identifiers, both uppercase and lowercase letters are distinct. Therefore, we can say that identifiers are case sensitive. Means, if you have a letter that starts with capital and if you have a identifier that starts with a lowercase. So, these both are different. Commas or blank space cannot be specified within an identifier. Keywords cannot be represented as an identifier. 
the length of identifier should not be more than 31 characters and the identifier should be written in a such a way that is meaningful short and easy to read so the naming that you are giving it should be such that it has some meaning it should be short and it must be easy to read now here are some of the examples now you can see here these are the valid examples say total sum average so these are like identifiers which is used to uh, calculate total to calculate sum to find average then again see here uh, only the special character that is underscore m and underscore so this is also valid then sum underscore one so starting with character underscore and then you can have a number now here are some examples of an invalid identifiers like two sum now, why it is invalid because it starts with a numerical digit then int now this is a re reserve word that is a keyword so we cannot use this care again this is a reserve word so we cannot use this m plus n now here the special character that is plus is included so again you cannot use this because only special symbol allowed here is underscore now these are the references that i have used to uh, bring you this uh, content if you have any doubt you can contact me thank you